So they infiltrated and <clears throat> they cut it off here. And they siphoned the power of the man and woman not to continue the process, but to become a fictitious entity by making this transition happen in the hospital, which is owned by them, which means that you're giving them jurisdiction on anything that happens. You're giving them jurisdiction to the look at your wife and yeah. hold the baby and whatever before you do anything. Because that's just how they do stuff. And we're the ones that said, okay, well, let's go there and do it. So now, now we're caught up in this fraud. Right? Can I compliment something to that? Mm -hmm. sure. Okay, so there's a piece of case law that, that I found, which, which is uh, really clear. It's R versus Colgate. And the case law is, um, it goes like this. Because par Parliament had the power to create and charter these corporations, Parliament is only limited to remove or restrict the rights of persons or corporations that are created or chartered by the Crown. So what that means, long story short, so to speak, is that the government is only limited to restricting the rights of the corporations that it's created. Okay? And if they're claiming to restrict the rights of you, then they have to assert on the record that you are a fiction, which is completely not true. Right? So it's very interesting. You can be a person and go into the court and say, I'm a person, blah, blah, blah. What quality of person am I? Am I a person that's been created or chartered by the crown? If so, let the record reflect that, that I'm not created by the grand creator. Right? Exactly. Right? So being that, because if, if the Supreme God created the woman, then that means like the offspring's Supreme God too. They're just miniature versions of the bigger, the bigger picture. So being that they're mini miniature versions of the bigger picture, they have a certain amount of power. The, this transition comes from having to deal with the hospitals. Right? And dealing with the hospitals, you're going to have to get the birth record. Because you didn't do it yourself. They're the ones that did it. They're the ones that, you didn't have the midwife create the birth record. Like, they did it. And then their logo and whatever is on the paper. And they're going to say that you have to send that in to get a birth certificate <laughs> before you do anything. Before you even have a trust for your child, you need a birth certificate. You can't just go in there and say, well, I'm going to have a child, we're going to name him this. So could we set up the trust? Like you have to have that document, that actual document. And that document is going to be written in all capital letters, which means that it identifies the person that's corporate, not the living entity. But if the living entity is holding the card that says, yeah, that's that's me, then you're it. I it, yeah. You're it. <laughs> now that you're it, King Alfred applies to you. Take your it. <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? It's a big game attack. Yo, I don't know what I know. I want some food, coffee, some stuff, but I don't want you guys to leave. Alright? Okay. Talk to me now, man. Hello. So, Hello. The, when the prophet came, his position was to erase all this fiction and get back to the actual foundation. The de jour. And once we get on the de jour, the de facto is going to have to be you. Yeah. One thing that's never stated in any statute law, any de facto law, is love. Right. Love. Never compassion. Never stated once ever anywhere. Right. So those principles that are true. Um, so then, so just a couple of things, just to make sure you check out that owl thing on the dollar bill. And 
just uh, again the, the validation of the whole Moors, um, the whole idea of Moors. This is um, quality religious books for children. The man who carried the cross for Jesus. And this is from um, Luke 23rd, verse 26, Mark 15, verse 21, for children. And this is from 1979, Concordia Publishing House, St. Louis, Missouri, manufactured in the United States of America, all rights reserved. And throughout this whole book is this more by the name of Simon, who was from North Africa, that carried the cross for Jesus. And throughout this whole book, like they haven't been a fez in the whole book. <laughs> like through the whole thing. And then in the end of the book, Samuel became a Christian and doesn't have his fez on. At the end of the book, you can remove this connection. Remove this connection. Once you move that connection, you're you're just floating around. You're you're a boat with no flag. You're a shadow. Confiscate you and pirate. Is there, um, I don't know, was there any more, any other questions or anything like that? Before we, um, you can stick around for a second, what do you do? You want to do this too? Yeah. See if you can do this with yeah. you. Yeah. 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 See if you have any other paper. Yeah. Which one is this, the same one? That's the one. From the, from the book. Well, I was going to email. I'm going to do this first then. Just to get that okay. Okay. No, no, no. I'm just going to do this one first. By the way, we're not pirates. We're just protecting our land, you know? Exactly. So, it's, uh, <laughs> exactly. For the record. Yeah. 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 <laughs> exactly, for the record. Yeah, for the record. <laughs> for the record. Yes. Well, the brothers are defending their, their, their land. And we have always been the protectors of the land. Yeah. Right, so um, the, next, um, the next class, class five, um, they will just be probably going through um, the paperwork that we want to send. Actually, we just put on the record who we're looking to put on. The same thing with the putting on notice and stuff like that. Um, we're, 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 and, and it's good what you brought up about the um, the notice of yeah. understanding of intent. Because we have that on this document based on following that pattern of the free man of the line and see what works. But it might be an idea, like you're saying, to not deal with it, to eliminate yourself from that that current, you know what I mean? So this will probably change. But this is basically gonna be a uniform disclaimer, like a uniform paperwork that we're gonna have, and people who nationalize, they put their name on this, and then this becomes their paperwork. And then it would have all the names of whoever else is belonging to it, so that there's, it shows that unity. It shows that uh, I'm just not an individual with my name on some paperwork. Like I'm an individual with some with my name on paperwork, and there's 50 other people with their name on this. And then we all have this card, and then we all use these plates, yeah. and then we all have this form of assurance in case we get in an accident or something like that. And we all pay dues to this thing that is gonna keep us <laughs> being those free beings that we're supposed to be, but doing it under unity and follow it, just following the program of the prophet did. And there's more that's doing this. Like this isn't like something that isn't happening right now. Like there's more that we know right now that they don't they, like police don't talk to them at all. And they have their own plates and they have no licenses and all that. And they just travel and they don't bother nobody. Nobody bothers them. Right? Because the, the only real people who bother us is the de facto people. There's not really a threat. It's only those guys all the time that are a threat. Somebody else would probably be, yo, where do you get those? Like, yeah, how can I get down? Enough you know people were asking. Yeah, how can I get down? Yeah. Right? Don't know where you live. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, just. Well, I just want to, I just want to ask a question. If uh, when, when, when we're talking about the right to travel, and then if you don't harm anybody, what if you like, 
from the past yeah. harm somebody, but you regret it and you're, up, and you're sorry for it. Is there like how do you get remedy for that other than going to the court? From 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 the law. You harm yeah. somebody. Yeah, if, like yeah, if you had an accident, like yeah. a car accident, and you hit somebody and somebody got injured. Mm -hmm. Well, 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 the prior things, you were exercising yeah, under that really. fraudulent... Yeah, you were yeah, free when, when you got in that accident. That's a, yeah, that's, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, right, like, yeah, yeah. You were free, you so were connected to the... I was the, connected to the fraud. To the fraud. To the fraud, yeah. So, so, it, wasn't it, really, so it wasn't really... Yeah, know, it didn't really apply to you. It applied to the all capital letters thing that you said that you were. That's right. I wasn't... Indirectly it applies to you because... You were ignorant of the law and ignorance that's of the law is no excuse. That's why they even say that criminals have that. rights that before the law you say. Right. That. So that means they're the criminals. Who's the real criminal? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's innocent until proven guilty, then it's a through it. But they have to have this authoritative power from from ever since you were born, it's not something that you can just uh, start over and say, oh, I'm going to go exercise right. this. <laughs> it's, it's natural, you know? Right. So I think to answer your question about injuring somebody else in the past, that if that individual that you injured, if, if they've been corrected, so to speak, like if you've, if you've uh, settled their damage, and they no longer have a claim against you, then the air is clear and there's peace. Mm -hmm. So when there's peace, you're free to exercise your rights again. It's when there's conflict that there's that there's usually that there's contrast, right? There's conflict between parties. But if, they, if that individual that see got an accident with, if they're if they're fine now and you're settled with them, then uh, you have no more obligation to them. Mm -hmm. But right now I'm still <coughs> settling. Yeah. You know the thing? Uh, like we're, like, I'm thinking it's just like dragging on me. Like we were talking about. Right? Like what you're thinking. The thing is that you're like William Cooper. And you're going against this. Thank you. Right? You're supposed to be in you're supposed to be in allegiance with this. Even though they're running a fraud. You're supposed to abandon your dignity. You're just supposed to abandon your faithfulness and do some crazy stuff like get permission to have a license from some people who don't have jurisdiction. Because they're saying I pay the fine and I get my license back. They said I pay three thousand five hundred dollars from all the huge amount of fines and they say, hey, right. you can go back and try. But who does who does that apply to? Oh. Right. Who does that apply to? Right. Who does that apply to? Right. Right. Who does that apply to? 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 Right. No, but, but after all the yeah, but but you have to give a fiat to get it yeah. back. Yeah, that's what that's what when, matters. To me. When you have the when you have the common law right to exercise. I think it's because I put I put them on notice that I had the right to travel. So maybe it was because of that that because I know of other people that lost too much points and they're not willing they're not ready to give them back the license. Because well, it's not about the license though. Because you don't need it. You're trying to break that contract. You just want to sever that yeah, contract. Sever you don't want to. Yeah, that's, true. that's that's what that's what has you in the, the to go through that stuff. It's like it's like right. it's like athletes when they sign up with the teams and they're free agents. They sign up. They got a bar. Like certain teams, you can't have a beard on the team. Yeah, like, yeah. all kinds yeah. of disclaimers. Yeah, yeah, it's like a disclaimer. Yeah, you're not big So we we have to. Like when, when we when we start like yeah, it's supposed to be like that, but it has to be like that right now because of the fraud that they're running. And they and they're not giving up on the fraud. Especially my it's my family too. Like my parents are so believing in this. I don't know how they can. But I, they, can they see it? It's not about your friend. Forget about it's family. family. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's, 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 well, you have to save yourself first before you can save them. Yeah. Anybody else? What you go through? Right. Like I bet you that when when you you if you show um, diligence, if you show like some patience in this, when your stuff works, I'll get to jump on it in a second. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. But so there has to be this yeah. process of getting beat up. Yeah. Before the win. 